Well, guys, we have a great topic to talk about and probably one of the most widely debated investment vehicles that's out there in the financial world, and that's annuities. And you have some financial advisors that absolutely love annuities. You have some financial advisors that hate annuities. You have most of the financial advisors out there that don't even know how a real annuity works. And more importantly, there's not just one type of annuity. There's four different types. And so I have people come in all the time and they say, Dan, what's your stance regarding an annuity? And the first thing I ask them is, well, what type of annuity are you talking about? And I would say that 0% of the families out there know that there are multiple types of annuities. So I, I think we should take some time and just unpack all these different types of annuities and really get the truth out there today. Yeah, because it is, it's one of the most misunderstood investments out there. We see it every day. So for example, um, I was speaking at an event recently and it was a Q and A time period and the gentleman that was sitting in the front said, um, you couldn't give me one reason why I would ever own an annuity. And so I said, well, sir, do you have a pension plan? And he said, well, yes, I do. And I said, well, do you enjoy that pension plan? And he said, yes. I said, would you give it up? And he said, no, who would give their pension plan up? And I said, well, sir, that's one form of an annuity. Congratulations, you have one. It just really speaks to the fact that there is so much confusion out there, Pete. Yeah, and um, I mean, a lot of advisors um, think that every single person on planet Earth needs an annuity, and there's others that feel that nobody needs one. Uh, the four different types, an immediate, that is like a pension plan. You turn it on, it's a guaranteed income stream for as long as you live if you set it up properly. Um, but if you die prematurely, then the insurance company can keep a lot of the money. So you hear the good, you hear the bad. Uh, is that right for very many people? I don't know. Again, it's a custom decision. Then a fixed annuity um, is just a set rate of return for a set period of time. So you may get 2%, 3%. 4% for a period of three or four years or whatever. So you're never going to make huge returns, but on the other hand, because it's principal protected, then when the stock market goes down, you're not going to lose anything. You just got that set rate of return. But there's other ones out there too, like variable and indexed. Right. I would say the most widely known type of an annuity out there are variable annuities. And they are, for, for the most part, pretty high in fees. They can run up to three to three and a half percent a year. So, uh, and no downside type of protection or anything like that, unless you die. Sometimes there's a death benefit. But mm -hmm. most of our clients coming in to talk about retirement aren't signing up to die. They want to live, they want to enjoy. And so if fee levels get up to three and a half percent, that really impacts your earning potential and for the most part, I would say that variable annuities, if that's the, the route you're going to go, there are usually better options to get lower fees and still get the same type of benefits that a variable annuity would offer. Yeah. And then you have what's called a hybrid or fixed index annuity, which is a little bit like a variable annuity, un unlike that in the sense that it's principal protected. You're linked to a market index. There's a bunch of indexes that you can link to. Now, you're not going to get all the return. There is a cap. It's a conservative investment. So you don't get all the returns when the market goes up. So you need to understand the caps and how that applies to you. But the reverse side of that is you also don't get any of the losses when the market goes down. So this can be a good vehicle if you're looking for a conservative, principal-protected rate of return. And again, it's kind of one of the new kids on the block. Yeah, and, and I think the other thing is um, that, that one of the aspects of our firm is we are comprehensive. So we always think about taxes, estate planning, and that kind of thing when we're analyzing investments and what the right approach is. And I know with the estate planning, beneficiaries is always a big deal on annuities or whatever the investment is. Yeah, anytime I'm meeting with someone and they have an annuity, I always check the beneficiary because a lot of times there's confusion on that end as well amongst the client base is that what happens to this when I pass away? Right. And many think that just in their estate planning documents that that, that annuity will pass through their estate and it, it doesn't. Most often times it will go to the named beneficiary of that annuity and not go through a will or not go through a trust and so it's eye-opening for them a lot of times. Yeah, and clients understanding the taxes on a particular investment, also important, Patrick. Yeah, I've heard you and John and Dan say it time and time again, it's not how much you have, it's how much you keep. Yeah. So making sure that you're keeping more of that or your, your family's keeping more of that than the money going to the IRS is really important. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is important, and, and I think the key to all of this is work with people that are independent. If you go to someone who's just going to sell you an annuity, you need to run. If you go to someone who hates all annuities, you probably need to equally run. Work with someone who's independent that can share with you all the tools that are available and start narrowing it down and that really knows all the different types of annuities to help give you the truth and how these work. So, uh, great topic today. Really enjoyed talking about it and uh, looking forward to doing it again next week. Yeah.